What's up, you guys? We're back with Onigiri Talk. We're watching Fruits Basket, episode three. We're super excited, aren't you? I am. <laughs> this is Emily, guys. Oh yeah, I'm Emily. I'm John. Anyway, last episode, we were introduced to the curse of the Zodiac Spirits. Kind of got a little more information on that. Toru is dealing with learning about this family secret, as well as Akito is deciding whether or not her memory should be erased or not. Yeah, she just doesn't mind her own business. She keeps digging around the old people's families. <laughs> she's not digging, she's concerned. Okay. But yeah, we also got introduced to Kyo and how he's such a brooding little kitty cat. That's about right. it. And um, we're gonna jump right now to episode three. Uh, this one's called Let's Play Rich Man, Poor Man. Mm -hmm. You already know what it's about, but let's kind of like recap and see what's up. Yeah, let's go. The culture festival is coming up next month. Ooh, the culture the festival. festival. Are they in Tokyo, by the way? I don't know. No? I don't remember. I think so, because they go to a field trip in Kyoto later on. Oh, okay. Yeah. What if we did tricolor rice balls? <laughs> so that in every rice ball, people get three different fillings to Oh, The name of the channel. Mm-hmm. We totally need to ditch that idea, Yuki. I agree. That idea no. sounds lame. <laughs> no. Yeah, this girl's know what's up. So Rude. Rude. <laughs> That's right, Utani. Let's go. <laughs> and then Kyo always does, like, fighting. Everything involves fighting. <laughs> He's a weirdo. Such a weirdo, man. Yeah. We could make a deal where you buy three. Choose a fourth one for free, at least some of the choices are simply empty. <laughs> Everybody just goes along with Yuki. You see, like, what about what about Tofu's idea? Toru. She started the idea. They just evolved it. Oh, the kitty. Kyong Kyong. Kyong Kyong. Yeah, that guy's got a seriously hot temper. Doesn't take much. He's the total opposite of our prince. She considers Yuki mm -hmm. to be her prince as well. She's not her prince. That's just what everybody calls her. You really mm. like being up on high places, don't you? And he's a cat. Oh, there, kitty. <laughs> I guess it's not surprising cats like you so much. It's not like I encourage them. It happens to all of us with our animals. Oh, and we're about to get a cat in our house. It's not a good thing. <laughs> Soon. Don't you want to help out with the culture festival project? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> It's just extra hustle. Why is she pushing him to do extra shit? As long as Yuki's there. Aw, see, he's concerned. He's been so smart and capable. There you go. So then <laughs> we're done. Problem solved. You're good. You don't have to do anything. He's having self confidence issues. I'm the one who started martial arts first, you know, and now he's better at it than I am. So he's just a shitty fighter. Oh! Babe, no. Pity the same can't be said of the cat. I can't magically make myself more like him. Wow, what a loser. Oh! No, stop it. You're so rude. I'm kidding. I'm uh, kidding. I still like Yuki better so far. You like Yuki? This so guy far. is too radical. He's too radical. Let's play rich man, poor man. No, go and bother Yuki. I don't want to play. I would, but Sono's not around right now. You guys are in school. Why don't you guys just study? How about that? They're on break. Did you study in school? Yeah, totally. Schleiz. Okay, you're wrong, but I'm not gonna dry your eyes when you lose. You gotta <laughs> so easy to spike him up. Yeah. So easy. But she's a good competitor. I love I love their dynamic. But I'm not interested in dating anybody right now. Oh damn, they go corner him in the library? Right? <laughs> oh shit, she's going in for the kill. Yuki's different from regular people. An ordinary girl would never be enough for someone like him. You guys are gossiping uh, about him? I guess he is the King of the trick was that you sneak. Oh, you see, he won. Revolution reversal. <laughs> Hanajima. I never so played cool. this game. Not looking good for Kion Kion. We're just getting started. Oh, he got a nickname and it's his first day in I school know. or first week. Right? Rich man, poor man? I know the rules. I've never played it though. How would you know the rules without ever playing? That's a bit weird. I'm going to win the next game though. He always yeah. loses too. Poor guy. You see, it is annoying to be Yuki. This guy just comes and barks at you all day. They're just bickering. No, they're not bickering. I know. Kyo is bickering at him. I know. But was Kyo saying that if he could beat Soma, he'd finally be included in the Zodiac? That would be cool. What? The cat would join the other animals and they'd become 13. Add a couple more months as well to fit in another. another... Yeah. Good question, guys. What would you name the extra month if there were 13 months? <laughs> 
can I ever win? Not Loser. No. Yeah, I keep losing to him, and I hate it. Never mind, okay? You should head home. Definitely has family issues. Some is so polite, but maybe he can only be that way if he bottles up all of his own feelings. <laughs> Clumsy. That's kind of you. Like you have problems <laughs> with stairs. Always falling on stairs. I hate stairs. I'm trying to take my laundry down the stairs, and I'm like, I go so slow, so as to not fall. Ooh. Who's this? Cool glasses. Huh? You're Toru Honda? Yes, that's me, but how do you know? Zeda! Weg ein Glück! What language is that? <laughs> it's German! Ooh, what a little player! So cheeky. I mean, I'd run away too, some rando just like kissing me on the cheek, wouldn't you? Nah, I'd be good. A guy? Oh, yeah, that's a bit weird. Soma? Scare you? He always pops up in perfect time. What a good guy, man. Why is he walking around in the street in the middle of the night for no reason? He came to walk her home, that's what he said. So he just went out of his way. Yeah. Well, I wanted to tell you that if there's anything that's been bothering you, to listen it's like how telling somebody your bad dreams makes them not so scary she's just looking at her like what is this girl going on about no he knows or he he's having some troubles because the girl called him know out. That. the girl in the library called him out saying like you're always closed off to people she didn't see that Kyo could tell he's having a bad day because he punched him even harder and then toru's connecting the dots i guess i think i'm subconsciously keeping Distance, so nobody will get too close. Kyo's different. I guess he already has friends in the first week. That's yeah. actually kind of cool. Yeah. Makes him the cool dude. I'm only being kind because I want them to like me. So needy. Oh my god. <laughs> He's alone. One is a loser. The other one is so needy. <laughs> no. And then there's this girl trying to be like, let's help everybody. Yeah. <laughs> She's a good person. I guess it makes sense. But as far as I'm concerned. They're both really great in their own way. No, oh my gosh, you are such a mom. So Is that the weather? It's getting ugly out there. You're dripping everywhere. <laughs> I know. Goddamn, his house always walking like nothing. Yeah, my tatami mats are expensive, bro. <laughs> <I> no. <know. laughs> and he's Where's got a nice going? house. When the last typhoon came through, I spent the night outside my tent holding. <laughs> She's been through a lot. Wow, it's a farm. He's got a green thumb. How is that heroic? Oh my god. <laughs> She's being playful. Does that help actually? I think you're just Maybe. mushing down the plants. Unless there's something to like prop it up. Nobody ever said that you're a kind person? <laughs> you don't think so? I think they did. I think she just always underplay. She said kindness is our hearts growing inside us. Growing like people at different rates and different ways. And Dang, she remember all this monologue for her mom? Alright. Kind of it's simple to understand desire because it's something everyone has from birth. But each person's kindness is pretty much handmade by them. This may sound strange, but your kindness reminds me of a candle. It lights up. They're just chilling in the rain. Yeah, I know, right? Talking. Actually, the type one just, just now they mention. <laughs> Y'all are gonna get sick, no, man. <laughs> I mean, he's not a phony guy. He's, he's just like really likable, and he's just awkward about it. Yeah. The more you tell me about your life and feelings, the better friends we can become. Oh, she just reads friendships very awkwardly. It's very uncomfortable. The more you tell me, the more we can be friends. Uh, yeah. I'm like, oh my God, how about I just chill a minute? I just go play video games for a couple of days, and no, things come how, when they come. That's not how we work, man. That's how it is. Let's go do our nails together. No, no. <laughs> you be the kind of girl who can have faith in others. One day, I know. Oh, her mom is the greatest. Or maybe she isn't, but that's her memories from her. True. Are there any vegetables ready to harvest? Do you see any? <laughs> I'll play with they stayed there the entire time. Are you know, serious? Right? That's pretty remarkable. Although and I know they'll love the chance to defeat a strong opponent. <laughs> Aww, he's included. Oh, just wait. <laughs> oh, all right. Wow. Never played before, but you're gonna win. Time I've seen his true <laughs> we'll have to take 
hot baths when we get home or we'll catch cold. Ooh. That actually sounds really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the hell's going on here? Planning to start a rice ball business? Oh, good morning, Q. And that's the name of our channel. Yeah. Onigiri. I'm particularly proud of that one. You'll have to tell me what you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, didn't go well. It's too hot, too hot. What are these? Rice balls made with chives. So you don't like them then? No way! I freaking hate chives! <laughs> so aggro. I'll just make my own. Chives are good. Wow, that's so amazing. I mean, just rice and chives? So it's just rice. Yeah. Really? And the seaweed. It's not a big deal. On I the had outside. to make my own food while I was training. Oh, he knows how to cook. If someone was working hard training to make rice balls... Who's there training to make rice balls? <laughs> that's what he just said. Oh, he said that in the yeah. presentation. Just think. If a person is a rice ball... And what's great about that person is a pickled plum. The problem is the plums on their back where they can't see. Maybe everyone in the world is walking around with plums on their backs. But since they can't see their backs, they can't see the plums that make them unique. I don't get it why she's bringing that up out of a, like a morning no, rice ball making all. conversation. I think she's just kind of analyzing him and his relationship with like Yuki and like his family but and then like he would be like why are you talking about all this stuff on your own what's going on yeah you know but see he's not <laughs> it's a weird conversation to bring it up exactly <laughs> <laughs> but you can tell it affected him. Well, because it's awkward. All of a sudden, you wake up and then there's this girl in your house talking about <laughs> like you're a plum, and then you have something <laughs> special in your life. You yeah, know? you're a plum to be. You know a plum. Oh, and he called her a plum. Oh, there you go. I do really. Are you sure? Oh, well, only a little one though. <laughs> really, really. Small. What a tease. Oh, actually. <laughs> I never went to bed. Damn, girl. She works three jobs. <laughs> she has school. She's like, no, nope, I don't need to sleep. Kyo says he doesn't like chives, though. Yeah, because they're inedible. Chives are good. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like her. him sassing her project. Yeah, it's just like a little tease. Yeah. It's not nothing harmful. Maybe they could get along. <laughs> a little cat in the, in the thing. Really misunderstood you. <laughs> she really dreams, man. Right back at you, right man. <laughs> Somehow, that's not any better. Hmm. Her little Hello. fantasy. Excuse me. Hello. I'm sorry to bother you. Who is that? that Do you remember? Oh. That kill is here. All right, episode number three. Yeah, how do you feel? She overanalyzes people. It's very frustrating because, like the last scene that we saw over here, the redhead kid walks down and just going for breakfast. <laughs> and then she worked three jobs, did not sleep. Yeah. And then she's making food and then she started giving him this whole speech about plums in the backs. Yeah. Like when you wake up and you're like, Bro, let me have my coffee first before we do this shit, okay? Let me have my coffee. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. But she has been up all night overanalyzing the whole situation probably while making these rice balls. And she's thrown into this, this house full of these guys that are like so many different personalities trying to make sense of it and like trying to help them in a way I, but i get it in the morning it could be like a, a struggle <laughs> i just feel like she really wants to shove in answers to a guy problem you know like yeah it's just like i don't fucking like that dude yeah fuck him you know? like, then I just <laughs> we just do our own separate business and she's yeah. just really necessarily needs to we need to solve this <laughs> you know and then, yeah. and then sometimes yeah. you don't you know like and you know, maybe when they get older, they're like, oh, you know, you're kind of right, bro. My cousin, you know, I guess yeah. you're okay. Yeah. You know, it's just part of being 
a teenager, I guess, you know. Yeah, and I think that's just like her part of maybe with her experiences, she just feels the need to set things right. I know. You know? Sometimes it's just overkill. That's how I feel yeah. about her. Yeah. We did get introduced very quickly to a long kid and then the <clears throat> girl at the end. Yeah, there was a mysterious I figure don't know that if I, I, kissed I, Toru on the cheek. So I guess like the girl is trying to go through the episodes and not spoil further and then just kind of see where it is and then right. get introduced to characters as, as they come. Right. The last scene was Kagura, one of the people coming up, showing up, looking for Kyo. I um, mean, he's very likable. He already has friends. Yeah, so. that's true. People are searching him out. Do you have any questions you want to bring it up? Yeah, I, I mentioned earlier, if there was a 13th month, what would you name it? Okay, I would probably call it Cassember. I mean, he's been excluded in so long, you might as well name it after him. <laughs> or Catuary. Cat Catuary. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> uh, if you know our channel, take a look at the other uh, animes we're watching. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe or leave a comment on some things that we didn't address in the episode. Yeah. What's and your What's your opinions? Exactly. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.